Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. So today's topic is what makes them weak in the knees for you? So you could be asking about your crush, your partner, whoever that person is on your mind. Let's find out together. You can choose your pile as usual, one to three, which I will insert right now. And I'm going for pile number one. Hi pile one, welcome to your reading guys. If you chose this card over here with this beautiful lady, this reading is for you. If you're interested in personal readings, I do offer a same day reading for $20 only. And I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings with spice and juicy messages for uh, your person's fantasies and kinky and dirty thoughts about you. So if you're interested in something like that, you can find the links in the comment section and also in the description box. All right, let's start now. Let's see what about you guys here. Let's see what makes this person weak in the knees when it comes to you, right? So from this card, this is the Four of Pentacles here with this lady. I feel you guys, uh, first thing that comes to mind here with this card is that you're very mysterious and that you keep to yourself a lot of information here. So I feel this person doesn't know you that well. It might be you're asking about your crush here. Yes, I get these uh, newly stages here in this connection. So yes, I feel uh, one thing that makes this person uh, weak in the knees is that they find you very mysterious here. Also, I get here a sense of uh, toxicity coming from you guys. I will explain why I say that. Because I feel, guys, that uh, here I get these vibes of a bad girl, or at least this person thinks that you're a bad girl, in the sense that uh, you play hard to get, I feel, here. So you don't let on that you like this person. So this person feels like... Um, you play a game here, right? That you like them, but as this woman shows with her um, hand over here, it's like she's saying, but I'm so innocent, you know? <laughs> but you're not, and this person knows that. They have caught up to that, that you're not that innocent, that you play the innocent card. But uh, they get from you guys a lot of passion, right? A lot, a lot of fire energy coming from you. So even though you appear here uh, innocent, it's like you want to appear like a damsel in distress or perhaps that you don't care, right? I'm not saying that this person has figured you out because they still find you very mysterious, right? But they find it um, very titillating, very exciting. They understand that deep down there is this chemistry, this attraction, right? And you play this game. And uh, they find this um, toxic in a way, but they like it. They're very drawn to that. They are very drawn to this dark side, let's say, this uh, playful energy you have, right? Yes, so it's like here you want to be chased. And uh, they are saying uh, game on here about you, right? I also feel here, guys, you're very, very attractive. And this person finds you irresistible. It's your um, appearance, it's your face, everything, how you look. But it's also your energy here. Your energy is very resistible. So, um, yes, you should do some very well. You're a very powerful seductress here. And uh, you draw them in, right? They find you very intriguing. They try to figure you out. And this is really magnetic. Yes, that's the word I was trying to find. You're very magnetic. All right, very interesting already, a lot of information coming out. Let's draw the cards now and find out more about uh, what this person finds so irresistible about you, what makes them weak in the knees for you. Alright, pile one, another message I got 
while shuffling the cards uh, about uh, four of pentacles what makes this person weak in their needs for you is your detachment your coolness because we also have here the temperance card so i get here a message guys that um, you have this calming energy about you this healing energy about you here we have the temperance and you also have queen of uh, pentacles so you have this energy about you of comfort right very comforting energy very calm very serene very warm energy about you it's like uh, when this person is in the same room with you not even uh, next to you but in the same room with you they feel this comfort coming from you this warmth emanating from you and I feel this is guys because of your confidence here you're very confident in your body I feel how you move because we have these two women having this fluid uh, movement over here they also love your face a lot but let me tell you this person is in their head about you here we have all this row of swords Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, and you also have the Tower. So this person is really, really guys in their head about you. And they didn't expect that. They didn't expect to meet this new person and to have all of these um, thoughts about you. And also feelings for you because you also have here Two of Cups. I will talk about this card in a second. So let's see, what makes this person weak in their knees for you is, uh, as I said, your coolness, your warmth, your sensuality also, because Queen of Pentacles is a woman that is very sensual. You could be a bit more mature than this person, but not necessarily. But you have this confidence about you. When you walk into the room, it's like you command attention you command respect all eyes are on you and you know it but it looks like here that you don't care because this woman is like uh, she's the boss you know it's like when you enter the room you own the place you own the room you own um, the attention I get and you know it and you feel very comfortable about it so when this person sees that, it's like, oh my god, here with the tower. They're thinking, <laughs> if this person doesn't know you well, they're thinking, who is that? Who is this person, you know, quote unquote. And how? How come you are so confident? And where do you find all of this confidence, right? Yes, this person has a lot of thought process about you a lot. And I feel this is a new connection here. So what uh, makes this person weak in the knees for you also is their attraction for you with the Two of Cups. And as I said, I didn't expect to feel this strongly about a person so suddenly, so unexpectedly here with the Tower. I feel, guys, that you brought their world upside down because here with the Tower it's everything upside down. Also here with these two women, you see. It's like they are drowning in this uh, world, in this water of emotion and they cannot help it, they cannot change the situation now because uh, now it's done, you know. It's like they are falling in love with you, with the two of cups over here and they cannot help it. They cannot do anything about it, it's out of their hands here. Also, something else that makes this person weak in their knees for you. Here with the Ace of Swords six of pentacles underneath is that they had this realization about you they realize that you guys are in a game here in a dance and you will not give more to them than they give you so it's like yes with the six of pentacles you will reciprocate but um, you will only do that after they make a, make a move uh, take a step you know also this person with the nine of swords over here they are not at ease they are not uh, at, you know they are not comfortable 
I have a lot of anxiety about this connection, a lot of thoughts. Uh, you make this person nervous, I feel. Yes, what makes them weak in the knees is that you make them nervous and it's your big presence here. It's your confidence. And um, you caught this person by surprise here with the two of cups. And uh, they are restless before going to sleep. They cannot sleep. They might have, uh, you know, sleepless nights here for some. Or they cannot sleep because uh, they are thinking about you a lot, guys. They are in their head about you. With the Ten of Swords over here, they are in this uh, mental loop about you over and over, thinking about you obsessively. And here we have Ten of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, clarifying it. So I feel, guys, this person is obsessed with you. They are thinking about uh, you, about how sexy you are, how sensual, right? How confident. They cannot get over it, they cannot get over their emotions here. Uh, they are feelings for you. And with the Eight of Swords that you got, this person is not only nervous, but they also get insecure whenever they see you. It might be that you're asking about a colleague here with the um, Three of Pentacles. Not necessarily, but for some it could be. Or a person that you collaborate, that you see often where you go. Uh, if you have some hobbies, you might see them there. And whenever they see you, when they see you, they get in their head here with the Eight of Swords. And they get insecure, guys. I feel that this person thinks that you are too much for them, you know, in a good way here. That you are so attractive, so confident that they cannot uh, match up to you. Also another thing with the Three of Pentacles. What I feel is that this person is uh, overthinking how can they approach you, how can uh, make this um, union with you a reality, right, with the Three of Pentacles. And this makes them weak in the knees because uh, it's hard for them. They get insecure and uh, they have some fears here. How can they do that, right? Yes, overall this person thinks that you are very attractive, very seductive here that you play this dance with them, this game, mental games here, but they really like it. They are ready here to fall, to fall into your lap, to dance with you, metaphorically speaking. This dance of attraction with you, because uh, this person cannot help it, cannot help their attraction to you. So, the fact that you guys here play hard to get, your detachment, makes this person crazy. Makes them weak in the knees for you even more. Let's get some oracle cards now to see a little bit more. Okay guys, so you got here a bewitched. You're under a spell card. And this is a card that describes the devil. This is the equivalent of the Devil card in this deck. So I told you guys, this card is talking about obsession, about addiction. This person is already addicted to you, to your energy, thinking about you. And uh, they feel like you're the devil here. <laughs> in a sense that, as I said in the beginning, they find it a bit toxic, but in a good way. And this energy of yours is very addicting to them. They cannot escape the thought of you, they cannot escape your energy. Uh, they are obsessed, they are obsessively thinking about you. And there is a lot of temptation, a lot. You tempt them a lot, like no other here. Also your eyes are significant. You might have an intense gaze over here. And here guys, if you notice, there is um, this woman that has this halo and this woman that has the horns, right? So it's like uh, you're at the same time an angel, but also the devil. I told you right in the beginning, I told you that you play this innocent girl, but this person knows that you are the devil, <laughs> deep down, that you're a bad girl. And uh, this really, really excites them sexually. They're thinking a lot of stuff here. They're thinking how you are in bed. They're thinking, uh, you know, what pleasures you could give them and stuff like that. And this also makes them weak in the knees because 
every time they see you, wherever they see you, they have these thoughts and they can't help it. It's like um, you draw them in so much, they cannot help it. It uh, almost hurts here. <laughs> wow, guys, what did you do to this person? And they feel like uh, you did something to them, that uh, you put a spell on them, that they are under your spell here, right? Because they cannot explain. Also here we have this the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Tower. So they cannot explain this attraction they have for you. That's the thing here. You got here the Hanging Bones or Seeing the Signs. So this card is talking about synchronicities, about signs by the universe. And this person is seeing a lot of signs currently about you. And they are wondering why do I see these repeated numbers all the time, you know. They might even have dreams about you, I feel. This moon over here. Also, this uh, card speaks about uh, observation, observing all the signs. So this person is observing everything about you, I feel, everything. They absorb every little detail about you. They want to take in everything about you to imprint this image of you in their head in case that they don't have pictures of you. Every time they see you it's like uh, they want to capture your face, all the details in order to, to remember it later, to fantasize about you. That's what I get here. Number 10 might be significant for you. Also this card is equivalent to pages in this deck, especially page of cups. So definitely this person has started to fall for you and uh, they cannot change that here with this wheel. This is the wheel of fortune and they cannot change that in their life. Uh, it came uh, very suddenly. So it's a huge change along with the tower over here. Their feelings for you, their attraction, everything. And it says here honoring cycles. Definitely a very significant change in their life is that you are. Also this card in this deck speaks about challenges, about obstacles and huge change as I said. So this person feels like this situation is challenging for some reason right now. And it also speaks about the colors, the nuances of our everyday life. And even though every season over here has uh, its own positive sides, it also has its negatives. So I feel this person that you're asking about feels like you guys might uh, appear this uh, innocent angel-like creature but deep down you are dangerous here and they know it. They might not understand it consciously, some of them, because I feel a lot of them do, as I said in the beginning. But some uh, subconsciously know that you are dangerous here. And they like that subconsciously. This uh, drags them in, as I said. Alright, guys. So all these things about you make this person weak in the knees. Your energy, your sensuality, your appearance, your mind games, everything. Your confidence, your dangerous nature. Yes, your dark side, uh, your sudden appearance in their life. They are really obsessed with you guys here, I have to tell you. Alright, pile one, that's all I got for you. I hope you liked it. If it resonates with you, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, pile two, if you chose this nice lady over here, this reading is for you. If you guys are interested in personal readings, I offer a same-day reading for $20 only. And also I offer... Uh, 18 plus readings on my Patreon account. You can find all the information in the description box and also in the comment section. So let's start. So you guys chose the Queen of Cups. Let's see what makes your person, this person on your mind, weaken the knees about you. Weaken the knees for you. So you are the Queen of Cups, that's how this person sees you. You are the Queen of Beauty here, right? Queen of Emotions. So this person uh, sees you as uh, very aesthetically pleasing, pleasing to the eyes. They like the way that you beautify yourself. You might apply your makeup very well, I feel. Also something about your hair comes uh, through. 
I also get a message. This person is already attached to you. Yes, they are attached to your energy perhaps if you don't know this person well. And uh, they would like to get to know more about you. They don't know you well, I feel here. Also, this person likes your lips, I hear. I also got a message that this person thinks that you are uh, out of their league, guys. Alright, let's get some uh, more information now. Let's ask the cards. What does this person find so irresistible about you? What makes them weaken the knees for you? All right, pile two. So we got here at the bottom of the deck the Empress and the Emperor. And I felt it uh, was significant for you guys to take both cards. So you came out as a couple with this person, Empress and the Emperor. And you're also here seen as the Queen of Cups, as I said in the beginning, but also as the Queen of Swords, right? So here in the middle, almost, we have the Three of Swords. So I feel, guys, for some of you, this person might be your ex, because here we also have Judgment card. We have Empress and Emperor, we have the Hierophant and Queen of Swords. So I feel for some, you cut this uh, person off of your life, and this person now is in pain, that you're asking about. And with the Judgment, they are thinking about the possibility to come back, but they're not sure if you will accept them because here we have Ace of Pentacles and you also have Ace of Cups so they have an offer for you uh, they might even want to offer you an apology here they are really thinking about it but with the Queen of Swords they are not sure they have doubts if you will accept them if you will take them back so yes, yeah, some of you, this is a person from the past that you had commitment with, here with the Hierophant card. But for most of you, this person is a new person, this person is your crush, right? A person that you're crushing on and you're asking what makes him uh, weak in the knees for you. Okay, but before I start, before I say that, uh, for the exes here, what makes this person weak in the knees? is that this person feels, guys, that you will not be receptive and this person is not weak in the knees for you, but weak in general because they feel like uh, you are called to them, that um, you are un unattainable, that you would be unattainable again. And I get here a similar message for the new people, for a person that you don't know well, for your crush. I feel that this person is weak in the knees uh, when it comes to you because they feel, guys, that uh, you are higher than them, that you are out of their league here. Because if you notice in these cards, we have Queen of Cups, which looks a bit like uh, she's uh, superior a bit, right? I'm not saying that you are superior, but this person thinks like that. Also, a lot of cards here, we have a woman that has turned uh, her face here. Here also, this woman has her face turned. Queen of Swords also. This woman is covering her face. These people also have their eyes closed. This woman, eyes closed, and this woman has turned her back, you know. So I feel this person, this new person, feels like you guys um, are unattainable also. They feel that you are out of their league and this makes them really uncomfortable because uh, before even things have started they feel that uh, they cannot attain you, that you are so, so much higher than them that it brings them pain almost here with the Three of Swords because ideally they would like to rush in here with the Eight of uh, Wands that we got. They would like to make a move on you, to take a step forward but they have a lot of insecurities, I feel. With the moon, they have doubts. They also think that you guys uh, will cut them off. With the queen of swords. 
So what makes this person weak is your beauty, first of all. It's uh, your high value. And uh, I feel guys here with the Queen of Swords. You're a person that doesn't uh, talk a lot. So this person might observe a lot your um, attitude, your mannerisms, the way you move, uh, your confidence. So there is some coldness to you. And here with the moon, perhaps this person doesn't know you well. There is this mystery. And maybe because of that, maybe here they have misjudged you guys with the Queen of Swords that uh, you wouldn't accept them, right? That you wouldn't even uh, consider their, uh, their offer here. And what makes this person weak in the knees is that they have feelings for you, the Ace of Cups. And they are afraid that these uh, feelings they have will not be reciprocated. Here with the Three of Swords, right? As I told in the beginning, this person is already attached to you. We have the Devil card. And uh, there is also this um, negative thinking that you're out of their league, that they will never manage to attain a person like you. But they see your value here with the Empress. And what makes them weak in their knees is your high value. They see you guys as um, very attractive with the Empress. But mostly what makes them weak in their knees is their feelings for you. Also here with the Emperor you might be very confident. It's like you guys are a boss, right? You're not playing. Uh, perhaps you guys with the Emperor and the Queen of Swords have very st high standards. And this person is really afraid that they cannot meet your standards. Yes, with the Devil card this person is attached and they are also physically attracted to you. But I more feel in this spread that this person has these insecurities, these, um, these doubts about themselves. And they are judging themselves whenever they see you. We're here with the judgment. They are thinking, uh, am I enough for this person or not? But most of the times they end up saying to themselves that they are not. That they are not enough for you. That they shouldn't even try this with you. And it really hurts them, guys, because here I see with the moon, this lady, that uh, you guys are very attractive. And this makes this person really defeated already, before anything has started here. What makes this person weak for you is your demeanor, your high standards, your high value. Uh, some of you guys might be very successful here, might even be a boss with the Emperor. And in this case, if this person is your uh, employee or they are, you know, below you, they understand that nothing can happen here. So I get this message for some. You might be even be married here and uh, that's why this love they have for you, this attraction, can never, um, you know, realize into the 3D. So that's why they're hurting. But this makes them even more attracted to you that they cannot attain you or they think that they cannot attain you, right? Alright, very interesting pile. I'll get some oracle cards now to see a little bit more. Alright guys, so here we got this card. It says the spell is cast. Let go. So this person feels uh, very powerless right now. They have let go of control because they feel, guys, that they cannot do anything about you, about the situation. And we also have here the boundaries card. So there is something between you. I don't know what that is. There are some limitations here. And this person feels like you are out of limits, that they cannot um, reach you, they cannot attain you, right? Also here, this card 30, spell is cast, is equivalent to the star card in this deck. So there is this distance between you, I don't know what that is, it could be emotional, it could be boundaries, restrictions, even uh, distance here, geographical distance. 
it could be anything, third parties, whatever that is, I don't know exactly, for some it could be but uh, this person feels like you're out of reach and this makes this person uh, want you even more also with the star card, this person finds you very attractive but you have a star quality, it's like they cannot grasp you, they cannot touch you, they cannot reach you yes, you're something um, higher than them and uh, far away that they cannot touch, you know it's, it's really sad guys I feel here because you also have the morning card so it says crossing the veil, morning and uh, yes, for some of you this might be your ex here and because they cannot have you anymore they have this pain, this heartbreak that we saw also with the three of swords before and because they feel this chemistry with you with the deep bonds card they feel this uh, strong connection with you, the strong attraction and uh, they are dreaming about holding you, touching you kissing you feeling your skin here, stuff like that they are fantasizing about that, but they can't, you see there are a lot of stars here in these cards so I feel that you are something that they cannot grasp and this makes them weak in the knees weak in general, not only in the knees so yes, this pile is a bit, uh, you know not so happy, but it can happen, you know when someone feels like their love is uh, not reciprocated or there are uh, limitations I feel guys for some this person might be even themselves with someone else and uh, this attraction with you this attraction to you is um, out of limits to them and that's why they feel like, like that here yes that's all I had for you pile number two let me know in the comments what you thought if it resonates with you, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi pal 3, welcome to your reading. If you chose here this nice lady, this reading is for you. And uh, if you guys are interested in personal readings, I do offer a same day reading for $20. And I also offer 18 plus readings on my Patreon account. You can find all the information in the description box and also in the comment section. Let's see here. Let's find out what makes this person on your mind weak in the knees for you. So you guys chose the Queen of Wands. Yes, this is the Queen of Wands in this deck. I feel, guys, that you, how this person sees you, is that uh, you are super confident. You are super sexy. You have a lot of fire in you, fire energy. You take action, you're like a boss babe, boss lady here. But uh, their fire for you is burning inside. It's like... Um, it's like, guys, you're here a volcano, a lava, I don't know. But their passion for you is extreme, I feel. With this sun in the background and these red colors over here. Also, I feel this person is fantasizing a lot about you, a lot something comes through about your lips they love your lips and they also fantasize about kissing you a lot and if you notice here there is this tiger so you guys are very fiery you might also have some masculine traits in you some masculine energy you know this drive this ambition and this makes you even more magnetic and this person uh, you know has noticed that and they like it all right interesting let's see guys let's uh, pull the cards now and find out in more detail what uh, makes this person weak in the knees for you let's see So, pile one, very interesting spread you have here. I see some similarities with pile one. Pile one was amazing. If you want to check it out, uh, please do so. 
if you, if you feel drawn to it, right? All right, so let's take it here from the beginning. We had at the bottom of the deck some cards that came out. We also have the Emperor and I took it. And we have here Seven of Cups. Sorry, Seven of Swords and Knight of Cups. So I was right, here with the Emperor guys, uh, you have some masculine traits in you as well. Which is not a bad thing because uh, here masculinity talks about, uh, you know, taking action, about uh, being your own boss. And you also have here Nine of Pentacles. So you guys are the boss here, you are very independent I feel. This person, what drives this person crazy about you is your passionate nature, your independence, it's like uh, you are a boss here, right? When you enter a room, you see all these people around you, you can see in this card, uh, you command here the attention of a lot of people and you are very confident about it, right? You are like a boss. So you are your own person. You're confident, you feel comfortable in your own skin, you know yourself, you are self-aware. You love yourself here with the Nine of uh, Pentacles. And this person has noticed that and it makes them really weak in the knees. Because they love this energy, this uh, boss babe energy, this uh, Miss Independent energy. <laughs> Some of you guys might be, you might even be a boss, you might even be very successful. Not necessarily, it might pertain to your energy here, boss energy, that this person is really drawn to and they really like. And let me tell you, this uh, competition that they feel from other people makes this person desire you even more. Because yes, they desire you a lot. They find you very physically attractive here with the Queen of Wands. This person is very passionate about you, but they feel that you are also a very passionate person. And this really drives them crazy here. Also, let me tell you, you have this person in their head about you. This person is thinking about you a lot. Here we have Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, and we also have here Seven of Swords. So this person is thinking about you non-stop, I feel. They have a lot of fantasies about you. A romantic fantasies, because here we have Knight of Cups. And this person uh, has this uh, light coming out of their eyes over here. And it's like this person is taking a bath in this um, rose petals or whatever that is. So they feel, guys, that you're very dreamy. They also dream about you. What makes this person weak in the knees is definitely your energy, your passion, your appearance, your sexiness, your uh, confidence here, right? Definitely check pile number one. You will not regret it because I feel there are a lot of similarities here. So this person here with the Eight of Swords has some anxiety about this connection, about you. Some insecurities, some fears are coming up, some nervousness. What makes this person weak in their knees is that every time they see you, wherever they see you, they become very nervous around you. And they don't know how to act around you guys because uh, they are very attracted to you here. This person likes you a lot because here we have Ace of Cups. So I feel this is a new uh, romantic relationship, a new connection, also with a full card over here. New feelings, new romantic feelings for you, the Knight of Cups. So this person here, guys, with a Six of Pentacles, an Ace of Cups underneath, clarifying it. They feel like uh, there is something between you. There is this uh, mutual attraction, that's how they feel. Uh, they think that you guys also like them. And uh, they feel very happy about it. Every time they are near you, they feel your energy and they get very excited about it. Here with the Six of Cups also. So we have a lot of cups in your spread. Definitely this person likes you, if not, uh, you know, fall in love already. Yes, a lot of thinking about you, a lot of emotions about you, and also a lot of passion. 
So there is everything. Attraction, passion, admiration. Here with the nine of pentacles. Curiosity also. Because here we have page of swords. So a lot of swords in your spread, guys. Also here with the six of cups. This person really likes your energy. They feel like they have known you from before. Like uh, it could be from past lives. They could subconsciously feel this uh, familiarity between you, this warm energy between you, which they cannot explain and that's why you have here the Page of Swords. So they are very curious, why do they feel like that? Why they feel so comfortable around you? Except their uh, fears and insecurities here. If we, if we put this aside, this person feels very good around you. Here with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. And uh, this warm energy coming from you also makes this person weak in the knees. Because here with this uh, thing, this to me seems like a mirror. And I feel, guys, that you are mirroring each other in some uh, instances. So they feel this passion coming from you as well, right? And this person is very excited about that. Very, very excited. They are daydreaming here, fantasizing, you know dwelling in their uh, emotions in a good way here they might be even checking you on online here with the page of swords but definitely they are very curious about you here with the full card what makes this person weak in the knees is that uh, they are sure that they would uh, take this leap of faith with you they are sure about that because they feel guys that um, you fulfill them a lot here with the knight of nine of pentacles sorry also, I feel, uh, guys, from you, a youthful energy with the fool. They might think that you are risky in a good way, that you are unstoppable, that you take action. So it's like you're a force of nature here, a lot of passion coming from you. Also, what else makes this person weak in the knees for you is your body. They observe you when they see you, how you walk, everything, how you move your body your hair, your uh, face. Yeah, they like you a lot, guys, here. They love your legs, I hear. Definitely your physicality, they like it a lot. And with the Nine of Pentacles, this person feels like you're so confident, so independent, uh, boss babe, as I said, uh, successful for some of you. That you love yourself, you have the self-love emanating from you. And this makes you very magnetic to them. And also this person is very happy here with these roses. They definitely like you. They have feelings for you, I feel. They have started to, to fall for you guys. So with the Nine of Pentacles, this person sees you as everything. This inspirational woman. It's like you're a dream to them, I feel. Very, they admire you a lot here, guys. Everything about you, your energy, your physicality. They're very drawn to you. And here we have seven of swords. So you guys might be very smart. This person feels like you're cunning. If you notice in this card, if we reverse this card, this person over here seems a bit uh, mean. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it. And here this person looks very innocent. I'm not saying you're double-faced or anything. Or that you put a mask on, but this person feels like you might have some uh, toxic traits in you. But uh, this is not bad for them. Because this uh, drives them in even more, I feel. So it's like you can embody the good girl, but also the bad girl when the circumstances are like that, right? So I feel here with the Seven of Swords that this person knows that they cannot play with you. That they cannot hide from you, that uh, you're very smart, you're very cunning and uh, you will catch everything even if they try to do something. I'm not saying they will, they will not even dare. But uh, yes, you are very cunning here and uh, it makes this person weak because uh, they cannot play any games with you, you know. And here we have Knight of Cups, so this card speaks about romance new feelings of uh, you know romantic feelings passionate feelings wanting to take you on dates wanting to romance you 
a lot of uh, emotions and with this horse I feel there is a lot of uh, sexual drive coming from this person for you and this water around it has a sexual connotation here to me that they fantasize about you in this uh, sense you know in bed I mean <laughs> if that wasn't clear and also what I feel here guys is that you make this person I'm really excited about you sexually whenever they see you. It's like you ignite this uh, masculine, passionate side in them. This masculine force. It's like they want to grab you and they want to give it to you right there. <laughs> and this makes them really weak in the knees because, uh, you know, you ignite this passion. But for some they cannot do anything right now because they have these insecurities, these uh, second thoughts about this connection. Not about you, but about them, about themselves. All right, very nice. I will draw some oracle cards now to see a little bit more. So we guys got here praying eyes. Someone has their eyes on you. Definitely this person is watching you either in person or online. We had uh, before the Page of Swords, we have this card and we also have here this card. It says Invocation, the Power of Words, but this card is equivalent to the Page of Swords in this deck. So this person is definitely watching you, they are admiring you, they are your secret or not so secret admirer of yours. I also got here that there is a lot of temptation for you because this is like a snake here in the background. A lot of creative energy, a lot of uh, attraction, physical attraction. Yes, they keep their eyes on you, definitely. They are watching you. They admire you online. Here with this card, uh, you might post some nice uh, pictures of yours. Some of you might be a dancer and they admire your body. But not necessarily. Some others, um, you might have a really good style. and They love your style. Your legs, your face is popping. A lot of red here, you see, and pink. So both passion and romantic feelings for you guys. This person is really crazy about you, I feel. You make their day brighter with the sun. And a lot of fantasies about you a lot. I feel these energies in my body right now. That they cannot wait to touch you, kiss you. They are yearning for you, you know, they are longing for you. Hmm. So I feel this person is already falling for you. For some of you it will resonate. Here we have the Witch of the Woods. And this is like the Hermit card in the Tarot deck. And here we have Enter at your own risk, pause. So this is like the Hanging Man. Hanging man. So, with the Hermit card, this person might feel like um, you're a bit distant sometimes, that you don't give them as much as they would like from you, at least. And uh, they want more from you. And that makes them weak on their knees, because they don't have you yet, right? And here, with this card, enter at your own risk. As I said, they have these insecurities and they feel like uh, it's risky. It's risky to come towards you. Yes, they have some negative thinking about the outcome. And they feel like uh, you are also a bit risky, as I said in the beginning with a fool. But they like, I feel like deep down, guys, this person likes this uncertainty, this mystery between you, right? And here we have the coven, it says soul family. It reminds me of the Six of Cups. Definitely this person feels um, very drawn to your energy as well. They feel this warmth coming from you, this comfort in energy. It's like they have known you from before. It might be that this person is your soulmate for some. And uh, they cannot explain why they feel so good around you, right? Because here we also have the sun in this card. And they feel uh, very, very good around you guys. The, your, your energy is intoxicating to this person. And all of these things make this person weak in the knees for you. 
All right, Palfrey. Very interesting. Thank you very much. If you liked it as well, because I really loved your pile, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.